Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 22, part 13 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we began our transportation of dairy products and livestock from local farms to their respective destinations, as we are now going to start producing cheese and soon start producing meat. In this episode, we're going to also hopefully deliver our first loads of finished products to the exposition grounds. All the while, our clothing and visitors are doing pretty well so far. It's still waiting for those champagne bottles. This train's supposed to pick up glass from Rems. 27 units. Hmm. Still waiting on that. For some reason. I had a full train, I thought. Hmm. Something's up. However... Oh, come on. Seems like whenever I save the game, stuff that's supposed to be for that game is basically transitioned to something else. Speaking of which, can these baggage wagons be repainted? Huh. They can. They kind of don't match the super brown of my brake van. Oh well. But I don't understand how my cow farm is not producing any meat. I This is the only spot on the map that has it, and I already have two services waiting to pick it up. Uh, it's gonna be one of those days, I guess. Might as well slow the game down a bit, just so the vehicles can start to catch up. There we go. Much better. Alright. Thankfully, there's 23 units of milk waiting at the, at the platform. All it just has to do is to go and pick them up. And I realize I have no train to pick up the loads of cheese. Let's see. Since cheese is going to be delivered completely fresh, I need some box bands. Okay, let's see. Where is that good center? Okay. And I just need about 200 units of cheese. I'll add the brake van and put it to work on the new cheese service. Well, our grapes are still being produced pretty well. We're only shipping about 50 units of milk, but that is totally fine. Because I believe our train is capable of 350 units of milk. So that should produce mm, a lot of cheese once it's all delivered. All this needs to do is just transport the glass to the champagne winery. Well, the champagne factory. And hopefully all the other commodities will start being brought in to make cheese. And hopefully meat will start being produced as well at some point. I also realized that I could start expanding my route and head into Bascon. And there's actually a new industry located here. This watch factory. It requires one unit of glass and one unit of gold ore to produce watches. There's only three towns that needs watches, but I believe that this could basically be a very profitable service. However, this is located in Switzerland, and we do not have transport rights there. Moreover, it's also time to basically expand for the final time. This is going to be quite a station. So what I have to do is just connect this here. And then a two-track platform here. Uh, 
All right. Now the construction begins. As we s go slowly down the mountainside, trying to make the ground as as smooth as possible. Okay, let's see. All right. Then do this, and that will basically allow freight trains to call at this station. Is that a crossover section here? And let's flatten the ground to make it a little more pretty. Let's see. We'll build over the river as soon as we get to a nice, gentle grade. Then we'll basically do this. build a bridge over the river. This is gonna be quite the bridge. This costs over three million francs. But it's definitely worth it as this bridge will basically be the one that will connect to the other side of the lines. Fortunately there's no crossing located on this road and not on this one either. We'll take a detour to the left. We'll build a straight track over this road. And we'll reconnect it to the main line here outside of Chamont. This will basically allow trains from the main line to basically access the rest of the... Well, access the rest of the network. Not access, access the rest of the network. We'll connect there, and that should basically do it for the new and possibly final rail extension. It's gonna be. Oh, I just realized I have no bus service to basically connect. I'll need a new intercity bus service to connect these two ends. Alright, about time I added a new intercity bus service. Let's see. Let's see, let's add the signals there. Place the signal here, and place this one there. Place a couple of more of these signals around here. Alright. That should basically finalize the entirety of the route. Of course, there's going to be two local trains, one from Troyes and one from Chamont, traveling towards Bastion. Let's get those added. You'll leave on Chamont on track 4, and you'll pull into the passenger terminal on track 3. Let's see. This will be local Q. And, for the service from Amens, well, not Amens, Troy's, you'll leave on Platform 3, and you'll come in on Platform 2. This will be Local 
local train R will be this color. And now for the new express services. This express will basically pass through Chamalt. Well, actually, for chores. Lily into, into Calais and then back the other way. And this will be Express Train E. I want to make sure that the rest of the stations are set in the right. They're on the right platforms. All right. And then the next one will basically be another service that'll go to Lahar. Track 4, you'll enter Troy's on track 2, enter Rem's on track 2, wait, no, track 1, you'll enter Paris on track 2, the Hav, you'll be on track 4, track 1, track 2, track 1. Alright, so... Express train F, and now I gotta basically copy a pair of express trains to operate on the new route. Express train E, express train F. And two local passenger trains to service on the new routes. You will be going on local train Q. And you go on local train R. Now i got to set up a new intercity bus. We'll stop at, at here. Wait, not there. Up here. Intercity Bus C. And then a new carriage service to serve the passenger station. Let's see, where is it? Carriage Service G. Yellow. And then let's purchase some new. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I'll purchase a pair of these and put them to work on the intercity bus route. Then I'll purchase a pair of these. Uh, ooh, almost bought 21. <laughs> and that will be put on service G. And now we have over 100 road vehicles and over 50 trains. Plus, with the connections that we made, we can now start transporting food, finally. Now I'll get the factory humming, and then we can basically start making more money. We'll call this Train 01. Baked goods, and you'll go to Best on Con. I'm just gonna copy this. And then just simply do that. And now we'll just need one train to pick up the loads of baked goods. I think it's best if I try to get one more of these mid goods engines and a couple of these 
box vans to carry the baked goods. We'll put a 210 units, put the brake van, and then assign it to the new service. Perfect. Clothing is starting to go up. It's because of my new trucks basically are delivering clothing to the local stores. It's not much, but 200 units of clothing won't be too difficult. There's still a lot of building materials for Lily. And now with a new service, hopefully we'll start producing food. It has over 126 units already in storage. Yep, now it's finally producing baked goods, which I can now transport to the shops located at the Skull. And at the same time, it will be eventually be crowded with passengers for those wanting to travel by rail to the coast to catch the ferries towards England. But I also have to do a little bit of renovation for the station first. And let's get rid of this road. Okay, let's see. Miscellaneous, we'll use this roof. And what do you know? Our first passengers have finally arrived at the station. I'm actually kind of impressed on how well I built this route. And the station at Chalmond is starting to get a little busy. Only a matter of time before services for Route Q is coming up. Though, I'm starting to think that some of my services could use a bit of an upgrade for, their local mo for my local trains. Let's see. Let's basically select all the local trains I have on my roster give them a new set of equipment. I mean, it's been a long time since I've updated any of my old equipment, and I want to prove that my fleet is very modern and very progressive. Let's see. Okay, let's have a look at the equipment we can buy. Well, the 062 tank engine does have a bit of a higher speed compared to the well tanks. Well, it has more power. This has 748 compared to the 544. So, for the first time, I'm going to be swapping out these coaches with ones that are a little more useful. And for one, I'm also going to use some more realistic coaches. Let's see. Well, this train can only go at 60 miles an hour. Let's see. Let's just basically... Ninety-six passengers for over for 100 million... Your... Monarchs to base it the French. Well, yeah. France. No, wait. Not France. Francs to basically acquire our new equipment. This is a bit of an improvement. These engines are a little bit more modern and a lot more faster. Well, actually, they have a lot more horsepower. Still no passengers for for some of these locations, but trains QR and express trains EF are now have passengers waiting for their new services. They'll soon have plenty of people at the intercity bus terminal wanting to travel directly into Dijon. Hmm. Still no glass. 
while this train is carrying 72 units of glass. But it won't be too long before it arrives at its destination. Still no livestock, even though my transport is starting to go up. However, our milk has finally arrived, and cheese is now being in production, which is great. There's bread products still being produced. It just needs some more grain, as well as more consumers. I cannot deliver any to dwarves right now, neither to Metz or Cedarbrook. Or Cedarbrook. But hopefully that will change within time. As these farms are starting to produce a little more grain than usual this time around. Because now that the bakery is going to be using that baked bread, it should basically start needing more quantities of grain to keep its production up. The half port is still up. The strain is still loading up with a lo almost 220, 220 units of cotton. And that's just basically for this. And, whoa. I did not expect this to basically be full to the... Have trains and equipment waiting for loads of clothing like this. Let me see. How good is the catchment area? It's quite good. It's quite good for dropping out clothing. Maybe my businesses might start basically making a bit of a profit after all. Though my company cash went very down rather quickly. But my value was still up, even though we're at 26. Where is that train of glass? Oh, there it is, just passing by the new express train. Express train E. This is the one that basically will go all the way towards, well, Calais. Well, F, well, Express Train F will go towards La Havre. I want to make sure that I make these channel operations basically profitable. As since people are going to be coming from all over Europe to see the fair, I need to make sure they'll have plenty of good sources of transport to get around. Still a lot of stone that needs to be brought, and there's a lot of glass that needs to be brought here. There's only two units of glass and 55 units of cotton, but it won't matter much longer. Alright. 60 miles an hour. And they'll soon take the right, they'll head towards the Champagne factory. Any other things that I could do right now to keep my services in check? Oh. Hang on. This this one needs to be on platform 4 instead. Well, might as well deliver the load of cotton we already have right now. It made about 4.50 million francs on that last on its last delivery, and that basically brought in a lot of money. However, without cotton, this factory is not going to do so well. But it, but with machinery, however, it will basically improve. And there's a lot of places that need machinery. Almost every city needs it. Plus, my station is starting to get a little busy. It just needs a bit of a push. And there we go. Our first loads of glass have finally arrived at the Champagne factory, and now Champagne is finally being produced. So I think we basically can call this an episode, guys. 
So if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!